Y'all gonna have um. Nah, like, listen. We gonna have hoes. We gonna have liquor. We gonna have weed <laughs> and cocaine. We got you, Jack. Trust me. Hey, we got no, you. He, he, I was waiting like, okay. <laughs> nah, cool. nah. No, we, we got, got you. you. Cool, but what's up with that coke? <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, we got. Oh, you. we got that. We got a medicine cabinet. Oh, and you got us. <laughs> there we go. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Just the shoe as grits as groceries, man. <laughs> this is Je Jerry Jaren Jer Jer Benton. And you watching this is 50. Bitch! Whole ass nigga. High school dropout, I was so young. Just so I could rap, damn, I was so dumb. Met a cokehead, older bitch, I was so sprung. Hot pills didn't put a lot of dope in our lungs. Damn, didn't mean to disappoint my mom. Hit a couple licks, then throw away the guns. Nigga doing time in the state, now we all fucked up. Damn, should've been on the way to pump. So, Mr. Benton, what's going on, man? Chilling like a fucking villain, man. Uh, first of all, let me say, I appreciate y'all for having me up here. I ain't like most rappers. I come up here prepared, man. Oh, I, I thought you do something. No, I brought man. you something. Man. Man, I never get anything. I brought you some, man. That's a, that, you know, that's a little, you know, documentary, funk volume documentary. Man, man hold on, you act like I had asked for this shit. I always <laughs> wanted this. This nigga gonna give me some shit that, <laughs> <laughs> that he won't be. <laughs> You know, you, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I thought it's it, up for an Oscar, man. It's up for an Oscar. Oscar for fucking Oscar. Uh, okay, wait. See, yeah. when she put it like that as a collector's item, then yeah. I, I, I I appreciate That's it. That's the Thank first you. one. Get out of here. Yep. Now, what, what am I gonna find on this independent living? Man, you go find out about the whole crew. You go find out about me, Jaren Bent. You go find out about Dizzy Wright. You go find out about Hobson, Swizz, Dame. Dame then worked himself into the shit, huh? He, don't, he worked himself into the shit. He <laughs> yeah, look, but you I'm know what? editing it. I'm up here doing all that YouTube shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is my shit. <laughs> but I had to keep it away, man. I got a Korean producer, man, so I had to keep it away from him because you know they like bootlegging. Oh, that's you? That's him. There you yeah, go. Boy, you look different. You like a regular white dude with your hat on, man. <laughs> Oh, okay. take his glasses off. He, yeah, okay. he got Down syndrome. I see what do. Okay, I see what's going on there. I see. What I thought you was a white dude at first, man. You, yeah, now you look like uh, Chad from Goddamn um, the Neptunes and shit. So, dog, you from Decatur? From Decatur, man. Man, I, you know I gotta say I'm from Decatur and Stone Mountain. I can't leave Stone Mountain. East side, I'm East side nigga. All day. Okay, all day in the hallway, man. All day. Now, what was it like for you growing up in Decatur, man? It was fucking dope, man. For me, the experience. It was. I was weird. I was a weirdo kid, but I always hung around all the all the all the hood niggas. I was the only nigga in the crew that was fucking with Wu Tang Clan and Nas and shit like that. Everybody else was, you know, booty shaking and all that. shit. See, that's what I loved about Decatur. Yeah. And just Atlanta as a whole is the booty shaking and stuff and whatnot that was going on. Matter of fact, because up here in in New York, they don't be doing that shit. Nah, y'all don't know. About nigga, that. they just be standing up on the wall. Nigga, you go inside the club. As soon as you walk in, man, you dancing. Yeah. Up on the wall. I didn't, yep. It get crazy, man. There was nothing but just straight up twerk. Hey, this twerk. We the land that started that twerking. Yeah, shit. they started this shit, man. Nothing Boy, but that's, twerking, man. I'm, wow, I'm old as shit, man. I'm okay, 31. So, hey, we the same age, man. It's all good. You 31 I'm too? I'm old nigga, yeah. Old get nigga the fuck rapping, out of here. Yeah. Hey, dog, well, that, that ain't old rap. Club, no, no, when you 40, then that's oh. when it's. It's kind of silly then. <laughs> you a grown ass man doing that shit. You, you're so grown that you have a, a, a wife and kids and shit. Right? Got a wife and kids, man. Yep. Yeah, then you promote that too. I do, I promote that shit. And, and why, this kind of taboo for a rapper to just be promoting that right off. Yeah, you know, I you know, I, I, I put it like this. I'm the one, of, I'm an open book, man. So I try to put 100% of myself out there. So I, I don't want to be one of them dudes that hold shit. And then, you know, you start popping, niggas start doing the research. Mm -hmm. They find out you fake, you faking it. You, so, I, so I try to keep it 100%, man. This this me. It is what it is. But um, you you don't be afraid that, you know, you'll turn off to, like, the female, your nah, female um, following? Nah. So how difficult is it for you to fight temptation, man, on the road? Uh, man. Yeah. You said, fuck you know it, what? I don't really fight. <laughs> <laughs> I just let it happen. You can You know what? The good thing about the road, you be moving so much, right. you, don't you don't even, even have time yeah, for it. Especially on the level we on now, we just grinding so hard, man. So it's just everywhere we go, we in, we out, we in, we out. So it's just constantly fucking moving. So I don't even really be having time to have my mind on the shit, really, to be honest with you. Where does a Decatur nigga meet Hobson at, man? Let me tell you. I had a song called Skit, so I put it out on the net. The shit got like a lot of love. A lot of people was fucking with it. And a mutual fan of me and Hobson saw it. And they posted it on Hobson's Facebook page. He checked this shit out. He fucked with it heavy. Him and Dane reached out to me, you know, via email. Yeah. And uh, we kind of established a relationship. And I don't know, man. Well, I guess we just kept in contact with each other. You know, at the time, I was kind of doing something with Def Jam. And that didn't work out. And But I always kept in contact with Dame and Hobson, man. And fucking, 
they were just cool ass motherfuckers, man. I would come to certain shows and we just established a relationship, got cool, and we was like, fuck it, man. It only makes sense, you know. I'm fucking with they movement, they fucking with mine, let's make it happen. And there you go. Damn, man. And so like how has life changed and whatnot? It's able me to stop working nine to fives. That's all I do now. I rap, I do shows, I'm living my dream. That's the dope shit about it. You mean you're part of an ensemble? We we independent and, and we trying to take over the game, man. Slowly, slowly but surely. And it will fucking happen. How would you describe your style of rap? Are you a, a backpack rapper? I would say, you know, I would say I'm a plethora of all that shit, man. Just because my, my musical, I, I, I have so many influences musically. So I would say I'm a backpack rapper. I say I got a little gangster in me. I got a little bit of Southern in me. I got a little bit of New York. I got a little bit of West Coast in me. It's all of that shit bundled up in one. And you got a retarded guy named Jaron Benton. How many projects do you got collectively? I got three out right now. Actually, four. I got uh, Jaron Benton, a mixtape. It was produced by me and the homie Spitzwell. Me and SMKA got together. Me and my homeboy Cato got together. We brought you Huff and Glue with Hasselhoff. Free bass with Kevin Bacon. And I just dropped my brand new project off funk volume called My Grandma's Basement. We dropped that uh, in June. Why June My Grandma's Basement? basement. Cause that's you know I was really in my grandma's basement. Bottom line, that we <laughs> yeah with the family. <laughs> nah, hell no, nah, hell no. This, this, uh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> he's one of no. the families that was standing in the front of my house in the basement. Is this your place? No, 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 no. I live with my mom. Oh yeah. You hungry? Hey ma, can we get some meatloaf? This was before, man. I I just that project, all the other projects I put out before were kind of like they were really kind of they were turned up. You know, they represented a lot of, it was like a, it's sort of like a party. They were like, a, a good time, it was a fun album. So this project, I wanted to do something to reflect, to, to show more of a personal side of me. So I kind of pulled back to the struggle and, the, and the, the growing pains I felt when I was living in my grandma's basement. And it kind of fit the theme of the album. So that's why I call it my grandma's basement. Who, who basement will you live in before you live in your grandma's basement? You know, again? I, I live in my grandma's basement. I, I, you know, I, I can't even say that shit like it's a negative because I appreciate her for, even, for me even having the opportunity to go in the basement when I was down on my luck. I could have been on the streets fucked up, but whose basement would I go in? Probably Kato's, man. Kato look like he got a hot ass basement with some arcade <laughs> games in there and some old shit, man. You know, you and, and some old dogs and cats and shit in there, man. And goddamn, like little, little, little toys and shit, man. <laughs> you can only get in ja Japan and whatnot, all kind of gadgets and shit and beakers and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, you, I think you described this basement. <laughs> Is it, that's that's pretty team. much to sum it up. Yeah, and you remember the dude from Goonies? What was his name? The little Asian dude? Oh, the little Asian dude. Yeah, yeah. his jacket like that. He got gadgets. Booty bangers! Oh, guys, isn't that neat? Man, come here, man. man. Come on, come on. You, let the people see you real quick, man. Now, dog, why do they call you Kato, man? So I got Kato from um, the Green, Green Hornet. Yes, or the Green Hornet. Bruce Lee was like my idol growing up. Don't you tell me you know how to do karate or some shit. Hey, like no bullshit. No joke. This motherfucker is a he used to be a karate instructor. Get the fuck out of here. Before before <laughs> before I did anything really, because I started martial arts when I was five. I should have known because your face got so. all the muscles in his face. <laughs> <laughs> you see a motherfucker with that, that much Japanese in his face, Korean or, or, or Asian or some shit, like man, man, you better leave him alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I play two roles. I'm like the the tour bodyguard, and I produce music too. You ever so. had to put it on somebody, my nigga? Um, not on this tour. Man, We've I got cool this tour. I'm a, I'm a I'm a call him out. I watched this motherfucker get knocked out. He got his teeth kicked out. <laughs> yeah, he didn't see it in person. So his bodyguard, he ain't bodyguard shit. <laughs> <laughs> we shot one of his music videos in my in my old uh, dojo. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What happens in that, man? Hey, matter of fact, shout out to Hopson, man. He just dropped his new album, Knock Madness. It's fucking crazy. He in yeah. L.A. right now. He just got off tour with Yellow Wolf. So, Kato, you an artist, too? He a producer now. Oh, you producing Yeah, I now. just yeah. produce yeah. now. Yeah, I'm, I'm on. But you ever be making a beat, Kato, right? Yeah. And then you like, man, I want to rap on this motherfucker so bad. I, I get that. Yeah. And you just let it pass. Yeah, I, I usually let it pass because I'm like, <laughs> fuck that shit. You yeah. ever like... When nobody's looking, just go inside the studio with you. <laughs> Try to fuck with it for a second. Man. I do. I do that. I've done that before. Yeah. yeah. You let anybody hear it or that shit? Uh, no, nah, yeah. I heard some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It sucked. He, he's hurt. <laughs> Stick to Don't believe him. Don't believe him. Hey, yo, Jaren, 
we cannot let you leave here without freestyling for this is 50, man. You know what, man? I'm going to do something special, man. Hey, man, just because, special, just because it's the release of the homies album, man. I'm, I'm, a, you know, I don't, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a verse off of that. I think it was a pretty dope verse. Yo, tell them what you said. A bunch of savages. Jay has sloshed the head off a faggot. I wake up in the morning and go raid the medicine cabinet. Every word I spit is murder on the page of this tablet. Spit out a fucking bullet from this gauge at your fabric. I'm not your average Joe. Brain pattern is slow. A lot of pain things change. Now I'm stacking this dough. Exclusive. New shit. Me and Hops and we too sick. I crack a hater upside his fucking head with a pool stick. Murdering me is like hop sign on the roofless For a second time and then pigs flying on broomsticks Michael Jackson crawling out of his grave with two kids Bitches squirting saying I have malt liquor around two kids Fuck a metaphor, basically nigga you ain't doing it Hand you a mirror before I murk you, check out a view of it I'm losing it, serial killer lurking the music biz without a mask I want you fags to know who the fuck it is Suffering succotash D's on a hovercraft Romantic psychopath, I drown whores in a bubble bath It's Mr. Benton nigga, y'all fall back And lick the space between my asshole and ball sack Ah! This is 50. Whoa, on, on. Bubble pad. Did you just hear what he said? He said a oh, romantic <laughs> psychopath. Drowning holes inside a bubble bath. Damn, Smile dog. In bubble bath. I got to put that inside on my Instagram, dog. It's like it was my next picture, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I am. a romantic psychopath. Yeah. Is there anything y'all want to tell this is 50 before we get up out you, my dog? Yeah, man. Check out all the homie shit. My grandma's basement. That's my project. You can get it on iTunes. Funk volume documentary. Get that. Hops and Knock Madness. Dizzy Wright. Golden Age. Kato producer. Shout We're out coming. to the whole fam. Swizzle Fish coming back out. Hey, Shout out to 50. Shout out to Young Jack Thriller, man. Boom, boom. Hey, and like I always say, you just can't say you're really something you got to be, man. I got Kato, man. I got Jaren Ben. We over when we out of here, man. Hey, do I have something in my eye? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Kato, dude. <laughs> Life of a young black teen. Not my kids, but the fuck a vaccine. Streets turn some niggas to a crack fiend. Had dreams when we hit the line like rapping. All my niggas so soft and hard. I was in the basement trying to practice my art. Life is a beast with the ultimate sharks. Don't let us smell blood. They'll tear you apart. Yeah. Worst fear, I'm a trying to be nothing. Least of my kids, I, I would mean something. Paranoid like a motherfucker. Sing something that'll scare niggas straight. Motherfucker, I ain't frightened.